Samaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here coming to you from a hotel room in Las Vegas, Nevada covering the CES 2022 event. And of course as well today I had an opportunity to check out some pre-CES um, information or hands-on with some hardware from TCL Mobile. And I'm not talking just mobile devices like smartphones, they were there. Uh, there were some uh, concept foldables, some uh, smartphones, uh, as well as actually a laptop, something that we haven't seen before from TCL. Uh, of course, augmented reality glasses, as well as a new uh, updated version of their glasses that they announced last year. So a lot of things to talk about about what TCL is announcing here at CES 2022. Let's not waste any time. This is TK and this is TCL Mobile at CES 2022. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. And we're going to start it off with tablets. There's two tablets, one that was announced late 2021, and that would be the Tab Pro, essentially a Verizon 5G ultra wideband capable tablet that gives you the ability of not only being connected, but also the functionalities of a tablet with multitasking and large display. So great for family and great for productivity. Now, the other tablet that they talked about here is a tablet that's focused on eye care, meaning they're focusing more on technologies in the display to provide better user experiences with prolonged usage and without providing us too much eye fatigue. Uh, now, this one is called the Next Paper 10S. It's a 10 inch tablet. And as you see here, it actually looks very similar to some of their other designs. The really main benefit that we have here essentially is again, the focus on eye care. So definitely a good direction when we were talking about large displays that we tend to hold about a foot and a half to two feet away from our face. Now, as far as mobile devices, as I mentioned, there are going to be mobile devices. The TCL 30 series is basically announced. Uh, we got a chance to see two different versions of them, two specifically, one coming to Verizon in the US and then the other one coming into T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. The T-Mobile variant is going to be the TCL 30 XE 5G focusing on subsic technologies. So it's not going to be ultra wideband, but pretty much covering what T-Mobile provides across the states and as well again as well as a metro by t-mobile so the main focus here essentially is affordability 5g connectivity and a large display with a 4500 milliampere and one of the main benefits here is that this actually supports 90 hertz this is something new to tcl devices so a really focus on content consumption type of an experience on this device as opposed to the tcl 10 uh, what well, tcl 30v that's focused for verizon now that one supports ultra wideband as well as sub six, basically the nationwide 5G from Verizon. And the main benefit there is it's really focusing and actually having a really high megapixel up to a 50 megapixel sensor as their primary sensor. Uh, one thing also to keep in mind is that the T-Mobile variant will be supported by the Dimensity 700 as well and as opposed to what we have, the one we have with Verizon is gonna be supported by a Qualcomm chipset, an octa-core processor. So different technologies, but hopefully provided and coming soon to us in Q1 in 2022 on both Verizon and T-Mobile and hopefully other carriers down the road um, if they're seeing more success. It is one of the recommendation or commitments that TCL mentioned is that they're trying to be in, well, working with every single carrier in the US uh, later on in this year. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is something you probably didn't think TCL would be getting into, and this is laptops. So mobility as in mobile connectivity, and of course, being always on connected with the Snapdragon 7C. This is an always on connected ARM-based processor from Qualcomm for mobile compu computing like this. Now, typically we've seen these computers before uh, running Windows 10 and so on. Now, this one's gonna be running Windows 11. Uh, it's a beautiful 14 inch display, no touch. I tried actually checking that out, but it runs a full version of Windows. It has 128 gigs of internal storage, very lightweight and very minimalistic. So some of the really emphasis here essentially is mobility and always on connectivity via Wi-Fi or uh, connectivity basically through 4G or 5G. They didn't give me a lot of specifications as to the connectivity, but I do understand that it is, it is basically the, the emphasis of a 7C series from Snapdragon. It's an always on connected, mobile connected ARM based processor. So definitely a very nice direction for TCL and I can't wait to see more uh, regarding this new laptop from them. This is the TCL Book 14 Go. Last year you probably saw somewhere where TCL was showcasing or sent around a few devices for different creators to be able to showcase their glasses. Well, they've updated them for 2022, and now it's actually called the Next Wear Air. This much lighter, smaller form factor, and also interchangeable lenses on the front, which is definitely very nice. We're still getting that 140 inch TV that sits right in front of us, and now we actually have the ability of actually changing the experience depending on what we wanna do. If you wanna still be able to interact a little bit with the environment, you don't put any of the external uh, lenses or attachments that they have. But they have a couple, one that blacks out everything, giving us that cinematic, uh, beautiful, uh, and by the way, we're able to see 3D content inside of these glasses, so definitely very nice. But also the ability of blacking out the background so that you're actually seeing a little bit better contrast in the colors. Now there's a second option that's more of a, I would say kind of like sunglasses shade. And then of course, there's another one that changes this just format to this different, different design or styles of glasses. 
And the benefit here is that this actually doesn't necessarily need to be used specifically on TCL devices. Actually, this supports every other device. The main requirement is that your device needs to be able to provide uh, display out over USB-C. So something, unfortunately, that we know, um, you know, Pixel devices don't have, but other manufacturers like Samsung devices and so on should be able to support them once they are available. So that's one thing, that's one thing I'm really excited to see how this actually becomes available and, of course, the price point that it's going to be coming out in the U.S. So really happy about that one. The last thing we're going to talk about is pretty much more of a prototype or like a demo. They showcased a new pair of AR XR glasses that are a little bit bigger than what I have. And as you've seen right now with the video, they look very much like a thicker bezels on the side. It is running pretty much micro LED displays directly within the lenses and the projections that are sitting on the side. We have a touch configuration on the side with a power button, as well as this camera that is positioned all the way in the center. This is intended to be kind of like if Google Glass ever basically became something more usable and actually something that you can use on the daily is basically what this is intending to be. Unfortunately, this is again a demo or a prototype that what we saw today, and then there's no word of when this is going to be coming out and if it is actually even going to come out in 2021, sorry, 2022. So the goal here, obviously, hopefully, is that this is showing us the promise of what TCL is trying to do in the future. Before we go, I did want to cover real quick, if you probably heard about this or not, the Chicago project from TCL essentially is a clamshell foldable, similar to the, I would say, the Z Flip 3 that came out in 2021. It was a project that unfortunately got scrapped by TCL, but they did bring the device with them here to see it. So I got a chance to check it out and look at it and it looks very promising and I would probably say is that this device once it hits the market when, once TCL is able to figure out the mechanics and the financials to make this device actually happen I feel like we'll disrupt the mobile uh, foldable uh, technology when we're talking about devices like that because at the end of the day TCL is trying to give you a great experience at a right price they're not known for being expensive they're known for being affordable and but also give you great experiences at the same time with their TVs, mobile devices, glasses, laptop, tablets, everything mobile, TCL is in it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for TCL for allowing me to check out all of this stuff and give you guys a quick glimpse about all of this new tech. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe as usual. There'll be more from CES. Bye bye for now.